up YouTube. First and foremost, we want to thank everyone. our subscribers. Everyone, we want to say thank you for thank subscribing. You, but we also love you. Keep subscribing. Yeah. And keep liking. And keep sharing. sharing. And, and tell somebody that knows somebody about these discussions we have. All right. It's very enticing. I have a question for you. You always got questions. Don't you got your sense. drinks ready? Mm. Seems that I always know your question. You fix your own. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna get wasted way before I'm supposed to alright you got your smokes ready yeah alright well you guys know what's next what's next let's get these shots in shall we oh. alright salut <laughs> I'm sorry I can't even if y'all already got your shot saying go ahead, I'm sorry. I'm about to do mine right now. Y'all know I don't really do shots. I sip on a shot like it's a little mini cocktail. But now, ooh, I can't. Ooh, that burns. That burns. I could never be a shot, girl. I understand. Okay. I'm going to take shots from Pernifero. Oh. I'm sorry. That's about as strong as that drink. All right, so we're just going to hop in tonight's drink about the topics. I'm so sorry. We're going to let Samaj start because this is her show tonight. It's not my show. It's her show tonight, so go ahead. Go okay. ahead, co-host. Let's do it. All right, so you know in today's world, mm -hmm. there's been a lot going on. It has been. It's, it's like, I don't know if I should breathe. Should I sigh? Or should I just say what the fuck I want to say? I go for C. Because my opinion matters. Yes. Because it's my opinion. Okay, go ahead with your All opinion. Right. So, you know, we, I don't, we both saw it. You know, if this, if this brought to what we stated like many shows ago. But it's funny how things resurface upon us. And with this chick that went viral oh, talking wow. about her. That sounded very aggressive with this chick. But go ahead. Because sometimes I don't necessarily agree with this, and I'm, we're going to talk about it. Okay. So she currently found out her husband had a whole oh, yeah, we did outside watch relationship. We watched this. And she said, okay, X, Y, Z, we still going to be together. We're going to raise our kid together. We're going to have a beautiful house together. And I'm going to fuck who I want to. All I ask is that you don't bring back no babies or diseases. And you know, everybody's relationship is different and it takes No no no, I'm not I'm not saying I agree with this. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is everybody's relationship is different. Right, they are. You know what I'm saying? I agree we're not in the fifties. Wait. We're not in the sixties. Girl, we ain't even we're not in the nineties no more. You understand what I'm saying? Shit, that shit past him. So we can go with the nineties because everybody feels the nineties movement. It's I am with the nineties. Women don't feel obligated anymore to stick around and stay and work out problems now some of us some of us yeah now infidelity for this infidelity uh-huh could be overlooked and forgiven mm -hmm. if it happened once now with her saying i'm gonna do me i'm gonna do you why stay together if that's Understandable, the person that you with. Oh, this is the person I want to spend okay, the rest of my life with. Pause this real is, quick. Pause okay. real quick. You know I'm gonna forget uh -huh. what I'm gonna say because you told me to pause. But yes, because it's gonna bring this. Okay. They have a business together. Okay. That's making revenue. Okay, great. Uh -huh. We can we can be business owners, co partners, whatever. But the relation, if we're just in it because we're partners. We have a good working relationship. We have a family. But you feel the need that I'm not enough for you. I should have lied. I'm, I'm not enough. Should have cheated. I'm not enough for you sexually. It's not even a point of I'm not enough for you sexually. No, because if no, you're no, no, fucking we, around. Wait, if I've been with you, I have to take sex and put it into, I got to make this booklet of why I wasn't enough for you. To have I'm a not whole question side relationship. Me. Question me. I have if to. If I'm not enough for you. Why? I have to. And if I'm what? cheating on you, 
you're not enough for me sexually. It's we can have about all sexually. that. We can still be okay, it's, it's about sexually. We can still co-parent. Okay, we so, can still fuck, but we don't have to be together. Oh, so you with the don't bring me no yeah, babies. Don't, don't, no, we not together. You my fuck partner. And we fuck whoever and we want to And we're fuck. business associates. Oh, but and we're she co stated that parenting. you could still Yeah, that's food? her relationship. Oh. That works for her. That works for her. That may not work for Sally. Or Susie. Or Bobby. Sarah. Anyway, that's all I'm saying. Every relationship I'm a is Sarah. different. I'm not going to sit up saying? here. I, I'm not. Now, if it's a poly relationship, totally different. Totally yeah, sometimes I gotta wonder because these days and age, being in a poly relationship, sometimes I don't know if the, the man or the woman wants me more at a given time. Doesn't and matter, you got both of them. I do, but sometimes a person might have a more appetite appealing. Okay, so you so going off of her relationship status mm -hmm. and you're in a poly. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not faithful to him nor her or A nor B then that, every relationship is different. That's all. Okay, so I personally couldn't be with you if I'm cheating and you cheating and we both know we cheating. Okay, so. Like, you don't want to know? Like, if you cheating on me, tell me. I want to know. Okay, so, wait. Maybe we can have that type of relationship. Right. You know what I'm saying? But this, let's highlight more on that dissected, which brings to this. When she stated on brain and no disease, Oh, go ahead. So, what if it's, it's what if you brought a disease to him and you kept it quiet? AKA, let's go back to the movie. Why did I get married too? And he was like, Oh, I gotta get a shot. Oh, Mike, is okay. I know why but you gotta is, get a shot because I is, caught it from time around and I gave it to you. Listen, listen, this is the thing. So, what marriage if, is not treated how marriage is supposed to be treated. Marriage now is a piece of paper. It's legally binding you to another person. It's just a piece of paper. It's not until death do us part for richer or for poor, for sickness or for Oh, did you see that it's, one? That woman, honey, she was getting married. They was getting married. Her husband lost the job. And she, uh, because now people right. aren't marrying for love. They're marrying for money. And I get it because every time I okay, fall in love... <laughs> <laughs> and it happens rarely but when it does happen and okay, so it doesn't work out up. so why am I searching for love why am I continuously searching for love when everybody else is searching you know searching for money I'm going to bring back that one real quick because that goes into another question I want to ask and it's going to highlight so keep that thought real in your brain so okay Brain, you know, I'm gonna try. Keep it in the long term, just for short. Okay, make it a short term to a long term. Thanks. But this new phase of being promiscuous and not being monogamous with whoever you encounter, mm -hmm. and you know everything is on a rise for some odd reason. It's hitting the black women. I'm sorry. Do you check your the JJ downstairs? I do. You know it's right. Regularly. Okay. So if you know that you was having sexual encounters with whatever man you're dealing with at the current moment, um, and you notice something's not right with his genitalia versus your genitalia, would you still proceed? Honestly. Because the nut is the nut. No, honestly. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's why. How can I answer this? Okay, so what if they take maybe it's just a little hair bump that, like, when I was shaving, I missed stuff and went down that way. On your shaft? Continue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, we all know what a hair bump looks like. Mm -hmm. We all may not know what genital herpes look like, mm -hmm. but you can Google that. Like, hold on, let me take let me take a picture and show my homegirl if she know what this is. Honestly, you know see that? we like, just set the boundaries, and set them back. Cause my homegirl gonna think, bitch, you just fuck everybody. You and know? maybe you do, but 
you have sense enough to ask, hey, what is what is this on your day? It wasn't there before. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Okay, so woman to woman. Sure. I'm Barb. Okay, Barb. I got a question. The man we both fucked around. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Barbara, I'm sorry. I'm not her. Ooh. She is not I. I'm so sorry. Um, I, I do not believe we're fucking the same man. We obviously did because in the increases where your uh, a bump showed, it wasn't in present, it was inside. I was watching something. <laughs> this has nothing to do with the topic. I don't, what was I watching? I think it was a movie or something. It was, it was about basketball wives. I was watching, I was watching a documentary on basketball wives. Mm -hmm. And how, remember when, what's her name? Evelyn? Uh -huh. Evelyn and which one? The first season? I think it was like the fifth season. I'm not sure. No, and, she was um, Roma. Too. Roma. What's her first name? Tammy. Tammy. Uh huh. In all this time, Evelyn knew that she fucked her husband while they were still married. She was in a relationship with her husband mm -hmm. while they were still married, and still was in her face. Like, they were best fucking friends. That's a bad bitch. You understand what I'm saying? That's a bad bitch. Could you possibly do that That's why if... I got moved to Florida, Miami. Because she know Floridian bitches, we do shit like that. Okay, don't, tell you. don't, don't say we, because we all don't do that. Not speaking for myself, but we all don't do that. I'm going to speak for the crowd. You know what I'm saying? Around. Like, I'm not finna be, if I know, this is the thing. Even being a side chick, if I know your chick, I'm not going to fuck with you. That's a rule of mine. If I know you're a chick, I'm not gonna fuck with you. Cause I, if you know what I'm saying, if like okay, you on that other level. I'm on no, that. cause I if I if I have to run into you guys or run into her or speak to her on a daily basis, you know what I'm saying? I don't. I'm not gonna fuck with you because I don't want to feel guilty because I know what I'm doing to her husband when she ain't there. I'm not gonna sit and fake conversation. Okay, so we're speaking on Evelyn and Tim. Yeah. I am fucked your man previously. We're still cool because I kept that embedded secret that I fucked your man. You ain't knew See, it I, now. I think if what? it's a better case. You got to call the paper for that? <laughs> it's a better the case if you piece? don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's and a right, better so case. Me like, being I did not know. I, but I she did. knew. Who? Evelyn knew. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's, I that's knew. the difference. Like, if I knew, I knew, and I, I mean, still did it. I still did. I didn't have no feelings for you and no remorse because the more we were women, and you probably did share some secretive information with me about your man that I already knew, and I couldn't tell you that. I don't think they knew each other personally. She knew he was married, and she knew who his wife was. Who? I'm Evelyn. Kidding. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, this is why we don't talk about celebrities over here because we just like okay. So back to what you were saying I'm just about saying sometimes it was I just a thought of something I was watching earlier uh -huh. about that. Um, but back I'm to what you're your saying, man. if I still know who you are, I'm gonna fuck your man. I, I don't. I, 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 that's a form of disrespect of you. If if I say, bitch, your wife gonna disrespect me when she see me on spot on the main. If she knows. If she knows. Because her intuition's like, <laughs> hold on. Beep, 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 beep. You was fucking my man at the same time me and you was cool and getting to know one another, like building a friendship or whatever. Yeah, we were. I was fucking your man. Okay, so on spot, you ready to whoop this bitch ass? Because, girl, hold on. I went in there feeling like a sisterhood with your ass and you fucking my man at the same time. I mean, sometimes I that's just the plan. Let me get close to you. So that you don't think I'm really fucking him when I am. Thank you, honey. That's, That's just why a ploy. Like, you know what I'm saying? But. Anywho, 305 in this motherfucking 954 bitch. What's up? <laughs> Poker Bean Projects. Mm. Did you say top. pork and bean projects? Poker Bean Projects, yes. Yeah. Poke or pork? Poke. Poker Bean. Poker Bean Projects, okay. I've never been to those projects. You was there for a Oh, I was. I didn't know that was okay. Anyway, um, anyway, back to what? Uh -huh. Back to one twenty fifth. You have bitch. Play with it. Many times, walk to Burger King. Play with it. 
and skip the loop across the park. Play with it. All right, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to go down on your questions. <laughs> um, I think we had this on the show before, but um, are women selling more these days? Um, your question, I don't know. We had it on the show before, I believe. Yeah, and yes, I said it's resurfacing now. And why? If, if women are settling, why do you think they're settling? It's because they've hit that wall. Yeah. Do men I, not have a wall? I'm no, no, sure I'm just saying. Let me basically put it this way. Why women today are selling for whatever man. I'm not selling for nobody ever. Bitch, no. Hear me out. No. If I'm a woman that's not successful <clears throat> anything I do, currently I can be. Let me rephrase that. I'm a woman trying to be successful in my world. But... I'm hitting, I'm, I'm in a very financial rut right now where things to do and all that. So, yes, I am going to settle for the weak ass man and fuck him and get what I can for him because right now I need things to be accommodating for me. So, so yes, I, as a woman in that area, in that, in that, I'm settling. Sense of sense of settling mm -hmm. it's it sounds like you're a whore right that's that's what i'm hearing uh -huh. i am going to be the uh, lay down the so i can girl. get the money right i'm gonna be a three or four girl okay uh -huh. i know we you, right. you taught me that yeah um <laughs> <laughs> that is not me like i said i don't charge so, for it i just give it away um <clears throat> only because I was searching for love. No, bitch, stop. I was, <laughs> I was searching, honestly, searching for love. So, and I'm my love. I'm a I'm my love language. I'm a gifter. I'm gonna give. You know what I'm saying? I'm a. No, I understand what you're saying. You're a gifter. Yeah. So I'm so going I'm to. For... Yeah, I'm not looking for you to to shower me. But if you do, <laughs> thank you. But, you know what I'm saying? I'm the one that's showering. I'm the one that's doing this because that's my way of showing you that I love you. I would rather buy you something than actually go somewhere with you. And that's that's just me. Mm -hmm. That's just me. I'm just saying. So you like to take care of a man everywhere in the aspect. Emotional. Well, yeah. Emotionally, physically, Because sexually. I told you that's a power move. I like to be in control. So that's that's... So don't you think this man pray against your weakness to see exactly how he can keep you yeah, settled for you? and then, no, I don't, no. You don't think so? No, no, no I don't stay. That's why I'm always single. Oh. Because I can sense this is not the one for me. Even if I'm doing all this in, in the way that you're, you're, you're. Even though it's good, that good yeah, I mean, good sex, good everything. That, that, that agreement was made. Mm. Bam. Okay, what was... <laughs> no! No! We're going to answer that part. Uh-uh, uh, 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 no, you're not going to do this. What is this right here? What, what is, is that? This right here... Girl, I don't know. I didn't write none of this show today. No, I know you didn't. So this is why I'm trying to bring it more to like for you. That's why I'm doing a long side. This moment we have going on, maybe we said this before. The regular chick is coming back. A man doesn't want a man-made built woman no more. You know what? I know. I get but it. Listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because listen. No, 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 no. This is a question. This is a question. This is a question. Okay, so say that I spent all this money transforming my body into what I think a man want. And then, all of a sudden, natural's back in town. Uh -huh. So you done did all of this. Mm -hmm. You done fucked up what God created, or whomever you believe created you. Um, for what? For what? And that, remember? Oh, keep, go ahead, answer that. And then I'm going to go to what Dr. Umar 
was talking about. We're going to go to sit out the Uma, yeah. but let me answer yeah. two. Because okay. you, you, you like to buy things. Cause and I, my memory is not short. My memory is very short with you. It's, it's, it's short. I can give three blanks and not give a fuck no more. But, you know, um, I feel like... Do you need a hug? No, I don't need a hug. I, think I just need to understand. I think you um, if I got everything cosmetically done mm -hmm. and this man sitting here and like, no, I won't. That you did it for. I did it for myself. Yeah, that's what you want the world to think. think. But, but mentally, yes, I did it okay, to, thank to you. attract more. Thank you. And everything. Me being dissected to be what I felt from the inner to present on the outer. And then when he goes back and see a natural where I could have stayed where I was, I feel like this man is creating, comp I wouldn't say competition, but it's like a power move between the natural woman versus the cosmetic woman. Or as Dr. Moore say, the artificial woman. <coughs> okay. And... I feel like you're creating a war. We are, women are already at war. They are. So, over everything. when men think they're saying, oh, I like a natural versus a cosmetic now because of X, Y, and Z after they did their little whole um, educational knowledge experience, I'm like this. I'm biased on it because, number one, why are you creating conflict between women? We already got to deal with it. Why are women allowing? them to create conflict because number one like other. you say okay well shit i got all this cosmetic work done bitch you could never be me and that is the mindset of some women uh, you could never be that me. is like, I'll i'm a 10 right you, like right. you know what i'm saying i'm a 10 use a motherfucking six but this is the thing mm -hmm. i think that women say that to other women as the egotistical move because they're the insecure they are it's like what I, I don't feel good about something in me. So I'm going to break you mm -hmm. down to make you feel as insecure that I, no, as I feel. superior. Cause right or now, however. Yeah, less superior because I feel like I'm proud of my mom. Because, you know, us women, we can step up like, bitch, I'm a bad bitch. And you meet with your girl, you a bad bitch, bam. And so we both have that. Yeah. Empowerment of. Yeah, and that's a, that's a woman helping a woman. Right. That's uplifting a uh -huh. woman. But you don't have that that um, in every dynamic. You understand you what don't. I'm saying? Uh -huh. It's 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 becoming a movement where women but really now isn't. are. It's is it's it's true. It's, 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 me sitting up and degrading you. Is it really a good movement? Sorry. It, it's it's okay. It's it's not. But it's it's trying. Trying it's what? Trying. trying to cause more conflict. It's we trying already to. We but, already had to sit up here and fight. These new words. I'm just saying, is they want to consider a woman to be uplift women and because because what our black men are not doing it. Call us artificial. We get our yeah, but if if everybody else is calling black women these things, uh -huh. and even the black man is calling black women these things, right? They say if the kids. black woman uh -huh. is saying these things to another black woman or a woman, period. That is just. Just following what the we're no, never going to is yeah uh, you know what I'm saying? we're never going to become a okay, greater so me saying this and it's like this right here I always say this ignorance is bliss because when is. I deal with a black man or a black woman any goddamn race fuck that but just speaking for our race because we're always targeted as the motherfucking beneficial movement. And some of us do not notice what we're going through. And some, and a lot of us don't care. The way that mm -hmm. the world is set up now is is all is second nature. Is I I got to get it by any means. Got to get if I got to step on another woman to get it, I'm gonna do that. I'm, gonna, you know, what I'm saying it's by any means necessary. It's all about one. Am it's I all you? about you. What? you understand? But okay. I'm saying, but if you're up here, if you're not, if if you're not. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Trying to bring somebody uh -huh. along with you. Let me show you how I did this. If so I can they bring can... you along, but you still gonna get that jab at me. 
you're gonna make it a sore where it can stick and that's, that's the woman. mentality that these uh, that women have now it's not that women are being even sincere. a weekend here up uplifting correctly yeah not, like they're not there is it's always an itinerary motive uh -huh. behind right. thank you behind because mm -hmm. my mouth is starting that drink is strong you fix your drink that drink is so strong yeah, but let's say play your own trouble whoo i'm gonna get through it though mm -hmm. hydrate guys <laughs> um because i don't know what nut she came out of <laughs> but the nut that she came out of taught me how to drink responsibly continue <laughs> <laughs> it, it is not genuine anymore me wanting to help you for an unselfish reason you but know what really i'm saying that's what i'm saying is you have a secretive motive for and not all people do they don't not all but people when you're dealing do. with a hurt woman another hurt woman two hurt individual women your hurt is different from my hurt but it could be similarity in certain aspects hurt is hurt right but my motive is to always be vindictive because i don't trust no one I get that, and that's what we're going through. So, we as people, we don't like to be trustworthiness, okay. have communication, loyalness. Okay. Okay. Uh, continue. I was, I, I'm, okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just saying, like, honestly, when you're dealing, because, okay. That goes into the question there where everything is on the rise now. Why is it always targeting the black community when it was the motherfucking goddamn epidemic? It's funny how the epidemic of syphilis is coming back when this bitch is 40 years old in our community. Not even 40, like 80 years old. Damn that's why. 80 years that's, old. That's, that's, that's why. 80 years old. Bitch, why, why, this was why the Tuskegee the black yeah, the, experiment. Yeah, that's why. This was the whole fucking movie. If y'all don't know that for you motherfuckers who don't watch movies and everything. Or read a book. Read you know, a book. It's not all about a movie. Or read article. Book. Okay, and then look at Sarah Bartman. Bartman? Bartman. As way back, like, damn, almost like 400 years. No. She didn't didn't they have a vaccine for syphilis? They did. Um, and have medication when it became prominent but my thing is this why let something come about where i don't know how how high the rate of syphilis is in texas how high the rate is the syphilis in texas well we don't hear about monkeypox no more because there is a partial syphilis we just want to tie it the scientists want to put a different aspect when you have those bumps look like warts and you're looking like a fucking i can't even think of the fucking character who looks like they with all those I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. Anywho. But I'm not gonna sit up here and honestly remember I told you we said this before in previous shows and you was like what? I was like Gerda, a lot of people choose to fuck raw. They honestly do. Now mm -hmm. the reason why I say that is because for some of those who know how to read, they read a box and say this prevents pregnancy and STI. It didn't state that it's going to prevent HIV infection or syphilis or anything else. STIs. So what the fuck is I'm using this condom for if I'm not going to be protected from everything I encounter? Maybe okay. you should be a little bit more selective of who you encounter. Right. And that's the whole concept now where it's coming to... Okay. That sound is so... No. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just saying. No, that's true because you do have to be selective who you lay with. Everybody is set up on this hot girl summer shit or hot boy summer shit. You know, honey, I ain't gonna front. I like wearing my gray shorts with no fucking panties and my little gray top with no fucking bra. On. And I like seeing a man who got gray pants on with no boxes on and just letting his um, equipment breathe. I won't even. Um, that's what we were. I'm just talking to myself. I just said to myself, I don't think this was what we were discussing. STIs and STDs, like seriously, if you see a bump on that damn head, or if you see a bump between my lips, you part to see like Moses. Um. If it's a rash, you still gonna enter? 
Okay. Well, let me check down below, see what you got. We fucking both for each other. Let's I mean, that's why season. you go ahead, you know, I'm going to go ahead down here. Let me go check this out real quick. You got you know to examine it, You do. So, yeah, it's going to look like I'm about to give you some head. It's going to look that way. But I got But just it. like you're examining me because I know that's, the, that's what you're doing. Making mm -hmm. sure, I know, she's good. But I'm just saying, if I'm going to make it... Just, it works the nerve because sometimes people don't know how to park correctly. But I but they check in. They okay. check in. And I'm going to go ahead and check it because it feels good. So, do you. So, you feel good when the doctor check you? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love my OBGYN. <laughs> I love ones. I you love my OYG. You're so gentle. You like Bassigal. OBGYN. I fucking love it. You like Bassigal. You like Bassigal. Listen. Okay, 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 okay. Um, <laughs> we can. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Okay, that's the breath that you just took. Because, girl, this right here. Okay. It was because of the question. Okay, go ahead. When can we become comfortable, comfortable to talk about the uncomfortable? This is the part that gets me in today's world, regardless of your age. When you can't be vulnerable, which means that you're going to be comfortable, mm. and tell me exactly how X, Y, and Z you feel, what and all that, and not display or give me like you being arrogant, don't know how to communicate correctly, uh, you try to be Ugh. funny. We're, we both can't be uncomfortable. At the current moment, you're making me more uncomfortable because I'm asking you to be comfort speaking exactly how you're. You know, if somebody, you. if they're not, because take me for example, if I talk to you and I feel so comfortable that I am literally having conversations with you on a daily basis, that means I'm comfortable with you. And if I'm, I can, t whoever I'm comfortable with, I. I'm an oversharer. <laughs> and I have no filter and I have no boundaries. Which is nothing so, wrong with that. But if I'm not comfortable with you, I would say less than 10 words. Because there are some people that I'm just not, like, I'm just not feeling their vibe and I'm just not comfortable. So I will not say anything because not to be rude. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm here. I'm, you know, I'm being cordial. But I'm not as comfortable talking or having a conversation with you. Okay, so why are you feeling semi-uncomfortable with that person? It's just like, it's say like you walk in a room and then whoever's in the room just stop talking as soon as you walk in. I would feel mad uncomfortable. That's that energy pickup. Like, you understand no, what I'm saying? Shit, bitch. Even if you're not you in the room talking about me. I'm going to still feel uncomfortable. So I'm going to excuse myself. You know what? I'm good. And walk away. I'm quick to walk away from a conversation. In the middle of... I don't... Mm -mm, and walk away. So so if, if I'm not... Because I can have uncomfortable ass conversations. But I have to be comfortable with you. To have those uncomfortable conversations. Because you feel that... I feel safe enough. To speak upon. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh-huh. Y'all get it? It was a long way around to what I was, you know. No, it's understandable because a lot of us are scared to be comfortable. Yeah. Around the individual. Because, I mean, you never feel safe anymore. You don't. You don't. You Right. And you then don't. the people that you are, you feel the safest you around. Are as a, a motive towards me? Right. Because I'm always thinking there's always a motive, like. Oh, you want something. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Are oh. you trying to do something? You know do I have saying? to worry about my life being on the line? You know what I'm saying? If, if I, I get a phone call in the middle of the night, can I come over? My first question is why? 
I mean, I mean, I know why, but my first question is why? why? Like, why? What, what, what do you think you're coming to get? You understand what I'm saying? I agree with you on that because anything after 12, I was always proud of. It ain't right. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But if I feel as comfortable with you, right. then, you know, I'm like, oh, can I come over? Yeah. I do if I feel comfortable with you. Yeah. Even if, okay. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> oh, promise you. already on Because you know. <laughs> So, if you're dealing with a person for a, a, more than a year, yeah. oh, wait, take this back, more than three years, because we're in a new movement, because people say you don't know a person a year, it takes the second year to really see them. The third you year You are not going to know this person fully. They don't care how many years. Okay. But go ahead. Correctly. If I feel comfortable with you saying to come over, if you... Say hey, I want to come through. I'm, I'm coming through. Or just I don't come, come empty-handed. Bring me something. Period. <laughs> just don't bring me the D. Bring me something to eat or something to drink or something. Nigga, flowers. Something, nigga. Something. Don't come empty-handed. Okay, so that's just when... dick in your hand. That's not, bitch. I did not Uber eat this shit, nigga. And my thing is, <laughs> okay, so if you say you want to come over and the person tell you, I'm chilling. Okay, I already know that. You at home, I know you, I see what, they see your movement. And they come over, like you said, don't come empty handed. Yeah. Um, why would you come empty handed? But honestly, they're coming already handed. Dick in hand. Dick in hand. Any emotions and feelings in here, which means you're nothing more but just what I want right now. And some people are okay with that, right? But do you don't you think that feelings don't get involved? We talk about this all the time. Sometimes you can have. I was talking this with co with a coworker, and they were talking about something, and I'm like, a dude will fuck anything. Yeah, she was like. Oh, we have this relationship and he don't have any feelings. I'm like, bitch, a dude will fuck anything. And not give two fuck. Anything. And not care not one bit. Go home to his wife, kiss his wife with the same juices that came from you. And not think twice about it. Oh, my child, let's suck his dick. (laughs) And your saliva is still I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. It's some people like that. Like, just fuck and that's it. Now, if you do create feelings, you're probably the only one in that situation that has those feelings. But what if both parties have those feelings? Then that's then that's an uncomfortable conversation that they need to have. Okay, so that's when we need. That's to be what I'm saying. All I'm, if you, if you fuck, we need to be comfortable. If, if I'm, I'm fucking, fucking you, you on a regular, I'm comfortable. <laughs> okay, so comfortable. Wait, bitch. wait, wait. Trust so if me. I'm fucking you I can't get no more comfortable. Okay, hold on. So if, if I'm fucking, I'm fucking you on a comfortable. On the regular, yeah, and I, I decided to pull up. Job. Hold on, I decided to pull up on you. Mm-hmm. And the usual comfortable for us is that we just fucking. But I want a whole conversation with you because right now I got a lot. I'm like, of bitch, this is not this is not what I signed up. We signed up to be fuck par- partners. That's it. Conversation is different. I'm just saying. I'm just. Hypothetically, because okay, I'm just saying that's totally different. If you started this as just one thing and now you want to change the rules, but you're not telling this nigga you want to change the rules, you think if you change the rules, he's just gonna flow with it like, oh, this is what you want, bitch. You everybody don't get what they want in life just because you want to change the status of your relationship doesn't mean that shit is gonna happen you can sit there after y'all fuck talking about you're not finna cuddle me no bitch i'm finna go home to my bitch that's what i'm finna do oh so now all we do is fuck yes that's what the fuck why are you trying to change the rules on me you understand what i'm saying so when so now the person who want to cuddle and have conversations that's the one that done caught feelings Oh, why we don't talk no more? Bitch, we ain't never talk. 
It's when I text you, it's a question mark or some fucking eyes, bitch. Where you at? You know what I'm saying? That's the that's the whole dynamic of this relationship. Now you want to surprise a bitch and change the rules. Now you want to have a conversation. Why? Because they why got those feelings became involved. Like, look, then you we, we're gonna have to terminate this. We're gonna have. I don't care how good it is. We're gonna have to turn because now you want something that I already told you that I can't give you. I can give you dick. That's what. That's what. I can give you dick, bitch. I can't give you dick in conversation. I can give you a head and dick. Yeah, I can't. You know what I'm saying? I can't Mm -hmm. do what you want because that's not what we came in this to do. And then that's that's so that's when that's when the side chick goes out of her role and want to be the main. I'm sorry. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. What the what? what the main? No, no, what were you no, saying? No, what were you saying before I cut you out? No, because you had caught what? So so both of us are what? Narcissists. Oh, yeah. I talk to my daughter about this all the time. Yes, I am narcissistic. I am. But everybody got a little bit of narcissism in them. Just a, that's a tad. I don't give a fuck. Just a tad bit. You know what I'm saying? You go to therapy, you will understand that maybe you're the problem. Mm-hmm. Some people, some people need to know that they're the problem sometimes. I don't know anything Ooh, about that. Ice. Praise the Lord. I don't know about therapy, honey. I was waiting for it so long. I was quiet. I was like, Lord, I'm going to hear somebody speak it. But um, I don't know. I mean, me, honestly, I'm speaking. I don't see myself knowing what therapy is. I'm speaking for the ones who've been in that house. So that therapy is saying I'm a little cuckoo crazy. Life should have told you a little cuckoo crazy. Listen, guys, we're going to stop this for now. We're going to hit you with the unwind down. Um, thank you guys for staying till the end. We appreciate you. We will be shouting out some new subscribers on the unwind down. Make sure you check us out on our podcast and on Spotify. Yes. Yeah. So Anchor.fm for the ones who do not have yeah. or be an Apple user. Yeah. Android. Yeah. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. Thank you guys. Love you. Thank what? you. Bye. Yeah.